Okay. <laughs> Got the much sleepy hollows, Got the much. Side. So little monk can stay here also. Any cane here? Cane? Yeah. For beating? All his back. <laughs> but that's what you do to me. That's the only to me. <laughs> we are qualified person. Most qualified person. Yes, for beating. Whole <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Nityana Timirandasya, Jnana Munjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Niditam Yena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Namao Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale, Sri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Shamiti Maya. Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharane, Nirvishesha, Shunyavadi Pashtacha Deshatarani Namam Vishnupadaya Krishna Pristai Bhutale Sri Mati Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Iti Namani Namam Vishnupadaya Krishna Pristai Bhutale Sri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Iti Namani Vanchakal Paturu Pashtra Kripa Sindhu Bhagavata Patitanam Pavani Vyo Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Srila Gurudev has requested me to speak something regarding Guru Tattva. So I will try to convey to the best of my ability my understanding of the concept of Guru and the position of Guru Siksha and Diksha. Siksha and Diksha Guru. As we know, in the Shastras, it is declared that Krishna appears to the conditioned soul because he is unable to perceive the Supreme Lord directly within his heart, although the Supreme Lord is present there in his Paramatma manifestation. But the conditioned soul is incapable of perceiving his presence. So the Supreme Lord, out of his causeless mercy, he descends in the form of the spiritual master. And he comes in two manifestations. One manifestation is considered to be his rupa, his form. That is the diksha guru, one who gives the initiation to the disciple. And an equal manifestation of that same Supreme Lord is his manifestation in the form of Siksha Guru, one who gives instructing, the instructing spiritual master. And he is considered also to be the Swarup of the Lord, almost the same. The Rupa is the form of the Lord, and the Swarupa is the considered to be like the personality of the Lord. But as we know, the internal and external of Krishna are identical because he is advaitam he is non-dual and his personality is the same as his form so the instructing and the initiating spiritual masters are equal identi and identical manifestations <clears throat> so the disciple must have equal regard for both of these manifestations of the Supreme Lord, he must honor them equally. Not that one is lesser than the other. This is a sign of the uh, advancement of the disciple, that he is able to comprehend the position of the Diksha and Siksha Guru. So in our time, we have seen that this tattva, this truth, this Siddhanta, has been somewhat misunderstood because of immaturity. But actually anyone who is making adequate advancement on the spiritual path, he will realize that anyone who is coming to help me in my approach to the Absolute Supreme Lord, that that personality is to be regarded by me most affectionately, with the greatest respect, and that personality is to be seen by me as the Absolute descending to me to help me. 
So in the uh, in the manifestation of Mahaprabhu's movement in the Western world, originally started by uh, Bhakti Vinod, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the inaugurator of the Krishna consciousness movement in the Western world, uh, the first of our acharyas in our line to preach in the English language. Then Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur doing such uh, a vast movement for the spreading of the mission of Mahaprabhu in the Indian subcontinent and sending his disciples to the Western world. And then one particular disciple coming to the Western world and fulfilling the prophecy of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur to spread this Mahaprabhu's mission, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. So we in our time have had the good fortune of his personal association and accepted him as Diksha Guru and also as Siksha Guru because so much instruction was received from him and is still being received from him. And the position of this personality is without any question but one of the most prominent positions in our disciplic line. But if someone becomes uh, mistaken to think that only this one personality uh, is to be considered or is to be honored, and even now there is a, a philosophy being spread that only he is meant to initiate all people of the world. We've, we've heard some of these conceptions, Ritvik philosophy. These are all Apa Sampradayak. Apasiddhantik. Because Krishna is continually coming to this world in so many different forms, through so many different personalities. And if one has received diksha from one particular guru, uh, if another personality comes into his life who gives him so much guidance, so much help in his spiritual advancement, and actually becomes his siksha guru, it may be that he may consider that he has received more from his Siksha Guru than his Diksha Guru. This is not impossible. There are many examples of this in our disciplic line. Naratam Das Thakur, Shamananda Prabhu, and Srinivas Acharya, they all uh, took Siksha from Srila Jiva Goswami, although they were uh, initiated by different Gurus, Diksha Gurus. But they all accepted Srila Jiva Goswami. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami taking Siksha from Swarup Damodar Goswami in the presence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, later coming to Srila Rupa Goswami, Srila Sanatan Goswami. And, Sri, and in this way, all, all of our acharyas in our line, there are so many examples. They have taken Siksha from different Vaishnava personalities. There is one story, if any of you are familiar with the Jaiva Dharma of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Uh, in the beginning of his book, he explains this story that there is one Mayavadi sannyasi. And this Mayavadi sannyasi has very, uh, very uh, dharmic qualities. He's very learned, uh, very sense controlled. Uh, he has all good spiritual qualifications. And by and by, he is traveling. He comes to the area of Navadvipdam. And in Navadvipdam, he comes to meet one great Vaishnava personality who is there in Sri Navadvipdam performing bhajan. So this Vaishnava personality, he associates with him and actually becomes converted. He was ready for this conversion, although he was Mayavadi. But he was seeking very greatly and he was able to be converted to the personal conception of the Supreme Lord. So... He began to live there in Navadvip Dham and perform the practices of bhakti, uh, sadhan bhajan, under the guidance of this great Vaishnava. Then, after some time, uh, after so many uh, weeks and months of receiving instruction from him, one day his guru, who he, this Vaishnava who he had now accepted as his, as his guru, told him that today we are going to go together and we are going to visit with my Gurudev. So, 
the two of them both went simultaneously together to another area of Navadvip Dham where there was another exalted Paramahansa Vaishnava. And both this Mayavadi, ex Mayavadi sannyasi, and his uh, Vaishnava guru sat in the presence of this superior personality and they both heard Harikata from him. And then after this, they left and they went back again to their own dwelling. So this is an example of the actual etiquette in the Vaishnava circles. Not that there will be some kind of competition. If, it, if there is one Vaishnava personality who has become a guru, he has begun to initiate, but yet he has uh, his, his spiritual standing may be not on the highest level, but yet he is aware that there is another great Vaishnava who is of the higher level. So it is the etiquette that that guru, he will give access to his own disciples to have the siksha and the guidance of this higher personality. If the Diksha Guru obstructs the access of his disciples to this higher personality, and that is a disqualification of the Guru, actually. There is something wrong. So, in actuality, this, the Diksha Guru will be very happy to see that someone can help his disciple. And also, he himself will be very anxious to have a superior association, because this is a sign of a Vaishnava. A Vaishnava is always looking for the association of higher Vaishnavas. And we see this all the way up to Golok Vrindavan. There, all of the personal associates of the Lord, they are associating with one another in the eternal leelas of Krishna. And they crave one another's association. And they are enhancing one another's association by their remembrance of Krishna in their own mutual groups. So we must know that if we want to make progress in our spiritual life, Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj uh, has given some very nice direction in this regard. He says that the absolute truth moves sometimes in a crooked way. This is the nature. So we may see at one point in time that this flow, this stream, is coming down from the spiritual realm through this personality and then at another time we may notice that it is here coming down through another personality so if we are indeed seekers of the absolute truth ourselves we must be willing to run to where that next manifestation of the Supreme Lord is and we must go there with full enthusiasm and with the proper mood and the proper temperament and we must accept that Krishna is manifesting to me in this way. And if we do so, if we are always open in this way, there will be no obstruction to our spiritual advancement. But if we are becoming prejudiced against various Vaishnava personalities who can offer so much guidance and so much help, then we will obstruct our own spiritual advancement and the advancement of others who are associated with us. So, we must always remember as Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has told us in the Gurvashtakam prayers, we sing daily. Sakshad dhari te nasamasta shastri uktas tata bhavyata eva sadvi kintu prapoya priya eva tasya vande guru sri charanara vindam. That sakshad hari, that the, that the Guru Gurudev, spiritual master, is considered to be a direct manifestation of the Supreme Lord. And if we honor this manifestation, properly worship and honor this manifestation of the Supreme Lord with all uh, awe and reverence, as it is said, Shri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Sadama Vandunmui Savadhana Mate, that with very great care, Savadhana, that we honor and we worship the Guru Dev, the manifestation of the Supreme Lord, then our spiritual advancement can come very rapidly. So on this day I would like to uh, ask the mercy of His Divine Grace, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, to be kind upon myself and all of us and to give us 
this medicine of Harikata, which all of our hearts are very greatly needing. Thank you. Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Itadare Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavakta Yanamun Tavai Vashmi Tavai Vashmi Najman Tuyarina Divikyan Radhi Tamnaman Charanan Vancha Kalpatarugas Chakrapas in the name Patitanam Pavanip Pimu Vishnavip Pimu Also, we heard so many things. Here, about Guru Tattva. I want to add some more that Ravnath Das Goswami, Guru Vair, was Jagunandan Acharya. Knowing this, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did? The hand of Raghunath Das in the hands of Sarat Damodar. Why? And we have never heard that Yadunandan Acharya was so much angry with his disciple Raghunath Das. But he was thinking that I am fortunate, so much fortunate that my disciple. Again, to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gaze in hands in, in the hands of Sarat Damodar. And my disciple is now so high class of Vishnu. Also, that very uh, Raghunath Das Goshan came in Vrindavan and he saw Raghunath Das Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Yadunandana Charlie, all in his Sikha group in Rupa Goshan. So, in Vaishnava Dharma, real Vaishnava Dharma, there is not a Wall like this. Now, something. Uh, anyone wants to change the epics also, Chaitanya Charitamrita and all. Now they are writing that Jadunandan uh, Acharya becomes so angry. Uh, the Guru of Shyamananda Prabhu, what name? Shibachya. It can so. All these are rotten things. The writings of any person who is not liberated, who is not so high a standard, we should not realize. There may be so many false things, bad things. So, for established truth, we should go in the writing, in the books, like Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Jeev Goswami, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti, Siddhan Saraswati Goswami, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Prabhupada also. When Srila Prabhupada means your Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami, anything will not come as directoration in their life. But now those who are writing all these things that it is established to and second day we see that they, they have come in bogus things. They are black. Swamiji, Bhakti called also and now they be manager in any uh, any uh, university. Yeah. Uh, hotels and motels. <laughs> Hotel and motels. Doing so many nonsense things. So we should not. For established truth, we will have to see Ved, Upanishad, Puran, and the books of authorized eh, attachments. Authentic person, those who are liberated. 
So we see. We see also in Jaiva Dharma, Bhakti Manav Thakur has told. Eh? He has written. His, the disciples of Babaji. What name? Uh, Vijay Kumar and Bhajna. They are disciples of a very prominent Vaishnava Thakur. And he sent him both to Puri in Jagannath Dham. To whom? Gopal Guru. Gopal Guru? Yeah. To learn all these things. <coughs> and they, they heard it and they became so high class of Krishna. When his Guru Dev heard all this and they became so happy <coughs> that my disciples are so fortunate that they have taken Shiksha from very bona fide high class of Vaishnava, associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So there is no wall about this, that you should not go to hear all these things. And we should not believe in the books. Now thousands are published, bogus books. For in truth we should go to Chaitanya Chaitanya to the books of the Rupa Goswami, Bhakti Goswami Sindhu, <coughs> and any bona fide guru, right? we can trust him, Swamiji, and his books, he was authority. He has never written anything like this, anyone can kind of saw. So now I am coming to my subject. Guru Goshthe Laisi. Not only Guru, there are so many kinds of Guru hmm? who has anyhow brought me to qualified Guru and he, given, he has given an association hmm? and he has so the path that you should come with me. This devotee is very high class of devotee. You can hear. This is called Path Pradasha Guru. What? English? Guide. One who shows the shot. Path Pradasha Guru. First. <coughs> and then, secondly, Chaitya Guru. Who is Chaitya Guru? <coughs> Krishna himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu If you are doing any nonsense, a inspiration will come, don't do. And if any good thing you are going to do, inspiration will come, and knowledge will come. That you should do at once. Who is giving? Chaitya Guru. Always here, like a friend, Atma and Paramatma, he is Paramatma, always giving instruction and inspiring us. So he is Chaitya Guru, Krishna himself, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Then, Diksha Guru, who gives <coughs> the mantra. And one Shiksha Guru who gives high classes of all teaching by feet, by adopting feet, you can enter in Krishna Bhakti realm. So we should honor all kinds of four Gurus, but there should be some. Tradition. No tradition. No tam Thakur has written this. Vaishnava chiniya adara karibe jabe. We should try to honor all Vaishnava, not as the same, but according to their. And that ability is sadha, that is bhakti, according to bhakti of Krishna. But don't disregard anyone. Even though I, though I have no bhakti, even 
you cannot associate with them, but don't dishonor. Even an chant, chant, never. In our family, if anyone is not doing bhajan, you should not make a problem for him. Don't always disregard. But you should not tell Harikatha to him. But your behavior should be very sweet. Like Parhalad Maharaj <coughs> and his father. His father created so many troubles, so many problems. Even he wanted to cut down the head of Prahlad Maharaj. He gave poison. He wanted to burn him. But what he did? He prayed for, for Nishing Maharaj that, Oh, be very <coughs> kind to my father. He never disputed. He never quarreled with his father. No? Well, he simply he, he answered something. Question. And it was true, but never quarreled. So we should, our behavior should be like this. If anyone has party feeling, you should not have any party feeling. All the devotees of any group, of any spiritual leader, all the are in family. Huh? All these treat like this. You should not make any party feeling, politics or anything. Simply you have come to do bhajan, so be soon. Try to follow all these things. If you are following very honestly and simple in way, then you will your devotion for Krishna will increase. So we'll have to <coughs> serve all kinds of food. Goshte. You'll have a rati, what I told you tomorrow, yesterday, Rati. This morning, what is the meaning of Rati? Govinda Bhagat. Rati means that when one's Bhakti has gone beyond Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, and has reached the stage of Bhav, then that type of um, affection, spiritual affection, and this is Rati, so that one should aim for that. One should not, immediately one should um, fix one's mind how one will have this type of affection, a Rati. Okay. Is there any symptom for Rati? Any symptom that you can just that this person has a Rati? Rupa Goswami had given all these things. If you want to what, develop your Krishna call, you should know, try to know. A businessman goes to any college where he learns everything. No? Perhaps there are so many classes for this. If you want to play on harmonium, you should try to go to any person who knows, right, who is so qualified in this. So, what is the symptom? If anyone has a rati, don't believe anyone is weeping and chanting Hare. You should not know. Be careful. Whether he has rati or not. And that is Shanti, Abhaktaka, Alakvam, Virakti, Ramani, Shunyata, Shabandha, Samutkantha, Namgani, Sadaruchi, Asakti, Stad, Gunakhyane, Priti, Stad, Vasati, Stavi, Ittyadi, Bhava, Shurjat, Bhavan. If anyone has Rati, this symptom is clear. You can judge yourself. And that is Shanti. You are doing bhajan. And it may be that it may come some thing to make you angry and disturb your heart. But you still your heart is so calm and quiet. Never you become angry. 
he never becomes angry. Though it comes so much things, but he is always calm and quiet. <coughs> Why? Oh, this is the rules and revelation. In world this always happens. Anyone dies, <coughs> anyone becomes so troublesome, so I should not <coughs> give my attention so much for all this. I should try to do my work. Always he chants, remembers, and always he in association of any bhakta. A single minute is not <coughs> wasting. A bhakta palam. Virakti. Always. <coughs> Detachment from material. All things matters. Never he is attached to anyone of this world. He, his attachment is always with Krishna. So no attachment to this world. If you have no attachment for Krishna and Bhakti, then automatically you are bound to attach with worldly things. So if anyone has Rati, he has no attachment. If anyone worldly all of these things, then Manasundanda, he never wants his praise. That also praise me. We oh giving a lecture. How beautiful lecture I have given. Oh tell you so tell. Oh very good Guru Dev, so much high class. <laughs> I see that in world anyone cannot be hmm, give lectures like you. <laughs> Perhaps you are uh, himself God. <laughs> like so. Never, never. If anyone is doing like so, he will see that I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. It is like a day. Vrakti, Manasunyata, Asha Bandha, he is in formally belief that Krishna will be attended. I will surely attend Krishna praying. Asha Bandha, Samukhanta, but when I will have, when I will have, how will I have? He is doing practices of the Bhakti, Shamanam, Kirtanam, Ishmaranam, Bandhanam, Parashivanam, Arachanam Bandhanam Shakyam Atma Yudhanam So he is following all these things. Purely. Asha Bandha Samutkantha Namgane Sadahari Uchi Always he has taste in Dhen Sankirtana Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Whether he is alone, whether he is with the devotees, so many, always Nam Gani Shadhari. Always that will be some taste in that. Nam Gani Shadhari Chi, Ashakti Stadgunakhan. Always he is very fond of explaining the glories of his Guru Dev, Vaishnav, especially of Krishna and Radha and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes he will be when explaining all these things. Nam Gani Shadari Asakti Sattvasi. Pratitadvasi. When he will leave? Especially in Bandha. In Naudibdha. In Gambhira. Where he will mend all these things. Then ask him. Pratitad. These are some system, symptoms, that you can judge yourself that he has a rati. So, he is telling that you should have rati in ghost. What is ghost? In Vrindavan, Radha Kund, Shyam Kund, Giridaj Bhavad, Nandagam, Varshana, Gahvarvan, Bhandirvan, Vrindavan, 
especially uh, Niruban, Shevakun, the tree, Banyan tree, Bansiva, the Jamuna ke tat, the bank of the river, Jamuna, these are why ghost? Why Krishna always does so many lilas with gop and gopis? With friends, cowherd boy, with mother, Jasoda Maya, titans. Sometimes chastise this supreme personality, personality of God, this place. Sometimes gopi are binding Krishna with Srimati Radhika, Radha Damodar, this place. Sometimes Krishna is uh, begging mercy of Srimati Radhika, this place is. So this is Gostha, where Stha means to live, where gopis, go, cows live there. This is called Gostha. Nandana and all go to all are good. You will have to rati. <coughs> More than Shraddha, Nishta, Ruchi and Asha. Then <coughs> Goshthala Yeshu. Goshthala, those who are living in the, these places. Who are living? Rup, Sanatan, Raghunath Das Goswami, Goswami, Krishna Das Kavirat Goswami. Then, Nartam Thakur and all, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. In the last time, also Baldevi Dhyabhushan, Vishwanasya for the whole lifetime he became. He was there. And doing Bhajan. So if you are not there, by mind, yet you will have to be there. He is sitting, doing Bhajan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You should see, oh, this place is that. Oh, here is the, there are so many manifestations of Giraj Vartan. Kalindi manifests here in Tridnavi, Giraj. So many lotus flowers are there. I heard the voice of Kaku word here. Kuhu, Kuhu. So pleasant. And so many cows. So Vrindavan comes in his memory and in his heart. And Krishna also, Radha and all gopi comes here. So do bhajan like this. If you cannot be in Vrindavan, then at the time when we are doing bhajan, reciting the months, in morning and evening, you can be in Vrindavan. Without any paisa, no fare for going there by <coughs> for flying uh, airplane. No, no, no ticket, nothing is <laughs> Mind we go at once there. So try to be there. No passport, no visa, nothing is there. So bhajan is so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> then Sujane. Sujana means there are so many kinds of Vaishnavas. Hmm? The followers of Sri Sampradaya, of Ramanu Sampradaya. They worship Narayan and Lakshmi. We should honor them. Though they are not worshipping Krishna yet, some are Ramanandi. They worship Ram and Sita. Don't disturb them. Try to honor them. Some are worshipping Lakshmi and Narayan. You will have to honor them. Some are in Nimbak Sampradaya, having Krishna with uh, Dwarka Bhati, Dwarka, Rukmini, Shakta Bhama, no harm. They are all in <coughs> Same. So you should honor all that. You should not make a vow. Raghunath Das Goswami had told for 
Ramanu Sampradaya, Vaishnav, who do Tilak like another say, they follow some other principles of bhakti, but yet they are bhakta. And so many sampradayas, they are having, worshipping Lakshmi Nand, Ram, Sita, Nishingha Dev, but what is it if they are in Vrindavari? I mean, don't try to dishonor. You should respect as a Vaishnav. We always give jay to Charu Sampradaya Vaishnav. But if anyone in the same Sampradaya, in Gauriya Vaishnav Sampradaya, having same all established truth and more, especially when anyone always glorifying Swamiji, that what is he called that we can disarm of that person? It is against bhakti. If any dog will come to me, that I am coming from Swamiji. I am coming from the servant of Swamiji. I will embrace him. I will honor him. I will worship him. And I do. That they have no fear at all. So why these walls are coming? I want to take up this wall and throw in a pastish ocean. <laughs> there should be no wall within, within Vaishnava. There was not any wall, any of these things. This is Barriers. Barriers. <coughs> so he is telling Sujane. These are Sujan, who? Of all other kinds of Sampradaya Vaishnava, but yet you should not. Not only this, he is telling that have a rati to them, them that they are my friends, bandhus, those who are Brahmin, in Vrindavan, worshipping so many goddesses like Shankar, like Hanuman, like Ganesh, but yet always moving and taking the son of uh, Radha Govinda, Radha Gopinath, Radha Madan Mohan, Radha Shyam Sundar, Gopishwar Mahadev, and they chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, sometimes not. No harm. No harm. You should have Rati to that premise also. If they are not one-ended Vaishnavas, Ananya, they are not Ananya Vaishnava, Ananya Vaishnava one-ended they are. If they are not even, because they have some regard for Krishna. They live in Vrindavan. One day, they will be Jogur Vaishnava. Api Chetsu Duracharu Bhajate Maam Ananya Bhag Shadhureva Shammantabhya Krishna has ordered in Gita. If a man is a chet sudurachar. Sudurachar means if he is engaged anyone in very bad practices, he goes to prostitutes, he does any comments, any bad things, liar or other things. He is a cheater, yet if he is doing bhajan of Krishna, Ananya, it may be. Don't decide that all the Krishna bhaktas are pure. No? In beginning, they will be like Jagai Madhai. They will be like who goes to prostitutes. Anyone begins Krishna consciousness from very lower state. And if he is practicing bhakti, pure bhakti, very soon he will change his all mood and character and he will be pure. 
So don't have any hate. Don't malice anything. So you should treat him like a Krishna Bhakta. Very soon, his all bad things will go away. Apichesso Duracharu Bhajati Mama Ananda Bhag Shadhuri Vashamantabya Shamar Bhavasu Vasha Chitam Bhavati Dharmatma. Very soon he will be a very good, great kind of Mahatma. Hmm? I know so many Vaishnavas. Really, in their beginning they were very stupid, nonsense and so many things. <laughs> so many things. But being in association of high class of Vaishnava, Guru, and chanting and remember, remember, they can so high class of Vaishnava. I also know those who were, those who were in high class of uh, Guru and association, but neglecting them, they went down to hell. I also know. So many. So we should try to adopt all these things. Swamantre, what Guru has given mantra. You should know that that mantra is not mantra, it is himself. Krishna, Guru, Mahaprabhu are all these things. Mantra are all that. And especially Mahamantra, there is some difference in mantra and Mahamantra Krishna name. name. Krishna name is himself, the supreme personality of Godhead, that is Krishna. There is no difference in Krishna and Krishna name. It is only something uh, seems due to the quality of Vaishnava. But actually Krishna name is Krishna. No difference at all. You should believe that you are chanting the name, not chanting, but you are calling Krishna and Krishna is there. A very strong belief. Then you can go up. I think so many persons cannot realize this. That when I am chanting Krishna, Krishna is coming. Krishna is there. Also, Ajami could not believe that when he took the name of Narayan, all his sense seen well go. Seen well burnt. He never. But when, at the time of death, three Jamdut came, and at the time four Vishnu did came, and there was a dialogue, and Vishnu did told that his all sins had gone away. Now he is pure. Now he is qualified to go by Kuntha. Then he realized, oh, I've overcome by day of on Overcome day. And I'm so I qualified that I may go to Vaikuntha. Never he realized hmm, before. So you cannot realize this. But if our chanting name, <coughs> it will be. All your sins will go. If you respect you, very with respect you are chanting and remembering this mantra and maha mantra. All kinds of sin will go away. And a relation with Krishna will come automatically. How you know? In India. Here, I don't know the rules. But in India, father and mother selects any boy for his beautiful darling daughter. And both sitting together, a priest comes and tells that you should utter this mantra. You are wife, you are husband. And for whole life you are one. You should help each other. Then from this very time, they became husband and wife. In India, they never give, give up anyone. Hmm? If any wife becomes blind, lame, 
or she is not able to do service to serve his husband, yet husband never gives up. Never and never. And if the husband becomes a leprosy man, leprosy is there. He cannot earn money, he becomes idle or full of diseases or he becomes worthless. But even that chest lady will never give up. What to tell after marriage, before marriage, a father gives a word that she is going to be married with that person. And this is enough. She takes in her mind, in her heart, that she is my wife, she is my husband. <coughs> so there is no marriage and he never gives up. Like you know Draupadi, like you know Gandhari, his hus husband was blind. He took himself a claw from him. And she was so powerful. So, in mantra, Always say very carefully, not like this, taking bath, uh, in very Indian place, solitary place, facing the east, doing archman, and thinking that I am in Vrindavan. Jamna is flowing very gently, kalkalo, kalkalo. There are plants of very chameli, jui, and so many fragrant and sweet flowers. Bees are humming. And Kakunji is singing, kuhu, kuhu. And also pickups are dancing there. And Radha and Krishna are there. And so beautifully there. And chant and remember your mind. Making one ended mind, then it will be true. Otherwise, you are simply and Oh, come on, go. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, playing Krishna. Oh, oh, my heart is there. He is there. <coughs> one mind. So then, mantra will fruit. Otherwise, he will not give pro. So, mantra. You should know that Krishna mantra is Krishna himself and Radhika. Oh, cling Krishnaya. Eh? Swaha. What is the meaning of Swaha? I am giving myself in the lotus feet of Krishna. And this relation is with me. So, this mantra will give relation. Like Purohit keeps our father mother tells to his early daughter in the same way. A relation will come. Baby relation. Not only that, I am Krishna Das. What kind of Krishna Das you are, the mantra will tell and you will realize yourself in some way. If you are practicing with honor doing all these things. And Sri Namni Nainangaladas Sudharaya Padanangadagadaruddhaya Gira Ulkarini Chitang Pakuhakada Tamanam Grahane Bhavishyati Ketan Mahaprabhu himself tells Oh, I have no pain in Krishna. I am still alive. Na prema gandhasti darapi me harau Krandam nishau bhagya bharam prakashuta Banshi vigasya nana avaloka nandina Vibhatma jata prana patanga kana Pritha, weeping bitterly, take Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, I should die, I should die. Why I am living? I have no pain, no love and affection with Krishna. I know a fish has so much love and affection from water, with water. And if anyone take that fish out of water, what she will do? He will do. Restless and die at once. No remedy at all. Only remedy that you should put that fish at once in water. 
I am, I have no prem and devotion for Krishna. And still I am alive. A fish cannot live without God. And I am still alive without Krishna. But all are telling that, oh, you have so high class of prem. But I have not a single uh, smell of Krishna. So I should die. Have you this kinds of more? <coughs> well, all. So he is praying to name. Oh, name Prabhu, you are himself Krishna and Radhika. When a day will come that I will chant Krishna, my heart will be melted. If anyone has moved like this, there is no war. There is no irsha ways. Envy, jealousy and anger. No hope, duplicate, see, and political things. Never, never it will come, it will go very far away. Sri Namni, always think that when you are chanting Krishna, Krishna is there. It is only the defect in you that you are not seeing and realizing. But Krishna is ever in that. Not only heart. In all atoms of whole world, all atoms of air, everywhere Krishna. There is no place where Krishna is. Once there are so many students of a guru. Guru uh, took any very sweet, very very good sweet. Just a street in his hands. And he gave it to his all as students, each, each one one. And he told, you should take it where there is none. You should go and after taking, after eating, you should return to me. But see, anyone should not see in a very solitary place where is none is there, you should take. All the students went, except one, all to do, and went to Gurudev after washing hands. Have you taken? Yes, Gurudev. Anyone saw you? Never, never, never. Anyone could not see. But one a student, he, he returned with that sweet. Gurudev said, why you could not take? Because I could not find any place, solitary place. Why? You should go in that room, there is none, and you can take it. Oh, Gurudev, I see Krishna every time. <laughs> every time. So this is qualified. So you should be like that. And then chant Krishna name. Your heart will be melted. If your heart is not melting, then go to <coughs> Council of Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami means any bona fide devotee is Council. Once there was a setting a very good Council near Rupa Goswami in Radha Damodar Temple, now very. It was called Seva Kundi. At that time it was Seva Kundi. No? Not Radha Damodar Temple because that that time it was not established. And there were very bona fide persons, all devotees that they are there. And they were here in Srimad Bhagavatam. No? Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam. Who are telling Srimad Bhagavatam? Oh, why you are telling? Who are telling, explaining Bhagavatam? Uh, why you are not sitting? Huh? Oh. So, hmm. Ravnath Das Goswami was explaining Ravnath Bhatta Goswami, Srimad Bhagavad. What thing? In Ras Panchayat. In Ras Panchayat, what thing? Jayati te dhikam janmana braja srayate indira svasvadatrahi daita deshatam 
दीक्षुताम का शब पान विचिन्वते तव कथा मृत तीवन कभीत कलम शाप श्रमण मंगल श्रीमदात भुवि गृणंति दे Weeping, almost all that. Some became faint. Some nose was running. Some ears were numb. Constantly. While there was only Rupa Goswami, he was not doing anything. He was sitting, just as his eyes were open, as he was in natural <coughs> way. And then thought and saw them. On our, our hearts are melting. There are some symptoms that they are also uh, immersed in Krishna praying. But why do go shani? Nothing is there. He went there, and he saw that he is dead or he is living. I don't know. But eyes are. Open and he, <coughs> he took a cotton huh? and he put it here at once a very warm fire yeah, came from his nose and there was so big when he saw that he is in Golok Vrindavan. He was not like a ordinary fish in ordinary water tank. If in, there is not so much water, a big fish, when he will run here and there, the water will be muddy. But a very big fish, not only one, one very big. <coughs> he will play so much in Pacific Ocean. The water will not make it muddy. So, the heart of Rupa Goswami is like an endless lesson of ocean of Russia. And he is it will not be muddy. Anyone cannot उसके उनके प्रेम को नहीं माप सकता How deep, endless his dreams. So we should be like this. Try to have a heart like and also pain. This is the pressing. This is the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mission. And this is the mission of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami. And this is the same mission mine. The words of Sri Bhagavad Gita. Something has been left. Tomorrow I will try to explain it. I want to explain whole book, but it took eight or more days, nine days, only after half a year. <laughs> but I, uh, I hope that you will gain so much from all these things and try to have in your heart forever. And this will add your bhakti, love and affection, and your heart will be also that love. Go, Namah. Hare Krishna. I woke up on Mr. Tapan, Mr. Tapan, Mr. Pagal, hope you enjoy. Attention, please. Tomorrow will be initiation about 6 30. He who wants to take initiation. Please register the name and address to Rajanath Prabhu. And our 9th AM will be fire sacrifice. Who took already initiation and who will took tomorrow? I request them all to and join all other fire sacrifice. Can offer. And yeah. other devotees also can offer in fire sacrifice tomorrow 9 AM.
Another announcement that one day during Harinama Mulamba, we lose our cordless mic. If anyone get this, please. Still, no, not found yet. If anyone get it, please refund. We will be grateful to him forever. Hare Krishna. <laughs> It will be like that. Thank you. 
Sir, who has taken flower or not? Anybody who has not got flower who has taken any of this year? Oh, Hari, now in Diksha. Yeah, Hari, Hari. Hari, you got a flower? Do you want this word here or do you want it there? What is the word here? The word. Thank you. 
Service back for boo? I'm not doing it very well. Hey, I was chanting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on there. Everything. Yes, yeah, so the ones. Prajapati, Jesturisi, Pirat, Dayatri, Chandaha, Sri Vishnu, Devata, Vishnu, Dasa, Jasaskamasa, Sri Radha Krishna, Dasa, 
Now I have to do Parikrama with Mahamantra. 